I'm only keeping it on for a couple seconds. You gotta put that shit on! Alright, here we go. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> she ready for the Daytona 500 or what? All right, guys, what's going on? I'm Ryan with Trezzian Racing, and I'm taking a little lunch break here at the dealership. I've still been working this whole time, um, but work's been kind of off and on with being slow and being busy here. So um, that being said, I've been having a lot of time to sometimes get home early and get some stuff done. Haven't really done a darn thing on the race car, though. Um, just haven't had any motivation to get anything done on it there's not a whole lot i had to get done on the race car before the next race whenever that may be out here in california we're still on lockdown and they're uh, pretty strict about it um everybody's got to wear a mask or you get fined you can't go into any store without a mask on um and they just recently extended the lockdown to end of may now so it looks like it's going to be a long time until we get out on the track again um but in the meantime i haven't really been doing a whole lot just been hanging out with my beer drinking buddies and relaxing just doing a bunch of miscellaneous stuff um so i'm gonna make this video about um just what i've been doing these last couple weeks um racing or not racing related just kind of like make a jambalaya of all the stuff that's been going on um one of my buddies uh who's been coming over one of my beer drinking buddies he's uh racing a sport mod and i opened up my big mouth and told him that i'd help him build a motor so he brought me over a motor and uh, we're gonna get going on that so you guys will see that and also my racing partner Johnny got his hobby stock um, all fired up the motor he built for it um, he got it all legal for our local track here and uh, I went over there and checked it out it runs real nice so um, you guys stay tuned we'll just hang out Hope you so this is a new addition right here I don't know if you guys can see that well but my racing buddy Johnny got me this little I don't know what you call it, little circle pop-out thing on my phone. And uh, I've been kind of having fun with it, doing these videos, a lot easier to hold, but he uh, he basically saw me making these videos and saw me kind of struggling while I'm holding my phone out and uh, just thought thought about me enough to give you one of these little things to put in the back of your phone. <laughs> Perk. <laughs> cool, thank you guys. And then you can put a little piece underneath it. Push this guy. I, just probably, I could probably put it on the ground and then start working, right? Yeah, that might be the right level for you. It'd be perfect, actually. There's blocks of wood or metal underneath the thing, too, you know, if you needed to. Mm -hmm. You can also lean it against stuff, too, like regular. That works good. You go over here wrenching. Yeah. And you're down <laughs> here. Out. Down here, taking the wheel off. Yeah, no, we're good. Because I'm always like looking for something to prop it up, you know. I'm, I'm looking, I'm, yeah. I'm taking tools out of my toolbox and put it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we're here. You got a, a new yeah. member to the family here. You got an Antioch Nebo hobby stock. Johnny put it together this off season and been working out the bit trying to get it all legal and everything, but running that smooth, real smooth. and everything what do you know so we might be putting a another seat in here to be able to take some passengers along we can do that at our local speedway here at Antioch they allow the uh, hobby stocks around two seaters so 
Uh, this will be a little fun kind of addition to our family here at Bentham Not Provoking Racing. Johnny built this motor just in this little barn over there. There's a bunch of parts yet lying around from previous builds and stuff and it turned out nice. It's got about 40 pounds of oil pressure at idle. Look at that, it just sits there and idles perfectly. He made some custom exhaust to make all the exhaust manifolds work. He used to have headers on it back in the day when he used to run this class or this car in the limited late model class. Uh, this is his first car he ever got. Started racing and everything. Well, apparently I spoke a little bit too soon here. It's a whole other day, leave more, and uh, finally got some traffic. So I guess it's a good sign, but I sure don't like it. Maybe that means we're a little bit closer to going back racing. Anyways, I'm headed home. Uh, my blue collar boys are going to be over tonight, or we might go ahead and uh, dig into Dalton's motor a little bit more, tear it apart, see if you can salvage some cylinders with a quick hone. Uh, but that's the plan for tonight. All right, so I got some visitors here. Dalton and uh, Joseph brought me a little goodie in the back of the truck, so we're gonna pull this race car out and get some space. Coming down. Coming down. Jesse Interkin. And uh, pull out my cherry picker here and get his motor on the stand, start working on it. Barbecue right now, but right. give it a couple months. Oh, Weeks. Shit. <laughs> That's what? a good one for the YouTube. It fell off the damn driveway. Oh, did it? Yep. Oh, there it goes. I told you. <laughs> I gotta back in more. Turn back her up. Yeah, yank it up. Well, the keys are in. Find any goodies in there? A couple. Some Cheez Its. Got some Cheez Its in here. document this. Night and day. Night and day, baby. You just wait until I hit him with a dingle ball. You about to whack your damn phone with that thing. We got Ryan out here. He's working this block. Oh, yeah. The oil doesn't stick to it as well as it should. 45 degrees is what you want. It really doesn't matter right now, but once you do the dingle ball, I want to make sure I'm perfect on the angle of it. All right, so I've got the blue collar boys here. Got the pistons out of this old block. Made Dalton a believer so far. This is the worst one right here. Found it. <laughs> That's so, the worst one right there. It's like straight up mud on here. Dude. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> Carbon and mud mixed. That's, those are the ones we had to hammer out, and literally we had to oh, hammer man, them man, out with a crowbar and this little mini sludge in there. So this side is not too bad, honestly. This one is, uh, you know, I got one bad cylinder. Which one? This one was a bad cylinder? Yeah, that was a, that was a bad one. But they were full of rust. Water was inside the cylinders, pulled the heads off. Looks like uh, they may have blown, blown a head gasket or something like that. So we're gonna keep on getting this thing all looking pretty and go ahead and pressure wash it outside get it uh, nice and clean and I'll come back and hit it with the dingle ball home and we'll get some video of that a little bit later. As 
Richard Holdner would say it's a razor blade rebuild. That's the stop leak they probably put in it. Oh, yeah, probably. Cherezian racing over here using an angle grinder on a walk. Hey, I'm not going deep, all right? Yeah. All right. So done with the three pronger. I might hit him a couple more times with it, get some more material out, but that's the finished product. A lot better than it was with all the rust and uh, the water sitting in there. So there's some shadows for sure. This one is, I think, is the worst. But the good news is it's all uh, it's all just oxidation. I can't really get anything with the fingernail. I'm going up and down with it. So uh, I'm gonna hit a couple more times. So I think with the three prong and then move on over to the dingle ball. But this side is a lot better. All of them are pretty, pretty close. You got the shadows, but the demo ball. Uh, go ahead and clean all that stuff up. Everybody's telling them, hey, you gotta buy a crate motor. You gotta buy a crate motor. People are getting wind that we're building a nice open motor here, and everybody's telling me buy a crate motor. You know what? I will buy a crate motor sooner or later, but I'm gonna stick with these open motors for right now. It's a lot not? cheaper than buying a crate motor the way we're doing it. I'll have, I'll have seven grand later on to buy a crate motor, so why not build a seven hundred dollar motor? And Actually, $750 motor. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. It's probably something around that area. Get, he's got heads and stuff that are good, and uh, you know he's got some other good parts we can reuse, but it's probably going to be in that neighborhood. Everybody, Dirt cheap, man. Pistons and rings, that's it. So we're going to knock out the cam bearings, or he's going to knock out the cam bearings. And uh, we got a little problem back here at the back of the block. Apparently somebody uh, decided to go crazy on it and broke the tip off. So his old block we got over there in his bed, Next to all the custom boys, and we ground off the corner of it, hoping that we can tack weld it on. And, uh, yeah, I had a little stud on there before. Tack weld it on and maybe tap it out, maybe save that. So that's about it. Put a freeze plug in it after it's all cleaned up, and uh, I gotta do my modifications on the block, kind of modify the oiling system a little better. Get to work. Smack out, smack out the hammer. Smack it hard. No! Yeah, there you go. Oh, hold on. Got a slide hammer here. There you go. That's it. One more to go? Yeah, about pull the whole plug out the back and everything? Yeah, the back plug's gonna come out with it. So you're gonna have to get a little bit extra hard. There you go. Alright. Yeah. Dalton Bauer. Yeah. Off. Yeah, there's a bunch of crap in those um, coolant passages. He's cleaning up with a little bit of a carbide burr. Came out of a, what, a 70 something truck? Uh, yeah. Se or no, this one came out of a 68 Camaro or a uh, 67 bit. Yeah, it's 50 years of freaking junk built up in there. All right, so it is Sunday, Mother's Day. I want to say happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. I got my weekend hat on. Gordon Family Farms, my family up there in Minnesota, representing them today. Uh, you guys saw me get all the work done on Dalton's motor uh, this last couple weeks, and you guys saw Johnny's hobby stock he put together. So, um, got some good news. Maybe we'll be able to go racing this weekend. I heard that there might be a test day uh, coming up this next weekend at Antioch Speedway, which I would love to make and kind of assess where the car is at as far as all the upgrades I've done on it um, and see where it's at. And then the following weekend, seeing we're not racing anywhere around here in California, I went ahead and uh, I booked a trip. Me and Livia are heading out to Tennessee. Going to go ahead and uh, see the east side of Tennessee, maybe down in Alabama and Georgia a little bit and see some of the racing out there. Um, so that should be pretty fun. And that's on Memorial Day weekend. So possibly be able to see a race on Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, and Monday. I'm taking a couple days off of work for it. But I just wanted to uh, get on here and tell you guys to stay tuned. Next video is coming out pretty soon. Hopefully it has some uh, content as far as the car and uh, racing goes. So thank you guys for watching as always, and we will see you next time here on Cherezian Racing. I'm out of here.